What's up guys, it's Brandon Jack. What? <laughs> a bass literally just jumped over here. I guess it's gonna be a pretty good day of fishing, I hope. Uh, I actually am out in Lakeland, Florida again at my grandparents' pond. This is another one. They have a couple different uh, ponds in the subdivision. This one, growing up as a kid, had the biggest fish in it. Lately though, it's been really slow. I'm not really sure what happened, uh, but the fish just aren't as big anymore in here, but there's still a couple of them. Today I've got uh, two baits in my pocket. I've got the Cinco's and I've got the white Zoom Super Fluke, so it's what I'm gonna be throwing all day. I packed light. I'm just walking around fishing the pond today, so didn't wanna bring all that tackle. I do have something I'm really excited about today though, and that is this reel right here. This is actually a never before seen prototype that I'm gonna be using. So before we even begin fishing today, I wanna to talk to you guys about this reel. So let me go ahead and start off by showing you guys this reel. It is literally the most beautiful reel I have ever owned. I'm really excited about it. It's the Shimano Corrado K, the new one they came out with, but it's got a little bit of a twist to it. Let me go ahead and show you guys. Here's the Shimano. It's a really beautiful reel by itself, but uh, then you come over to the business end over here. You see the carbon fiber. You see the anodized red. This thing's absolutely gorgeous. So here's the deal. A good friend of mine, Ricky, uh, had a relationship with a company called Hogtech. He actually introduced me to a couple of the owners at Hogtech, and uh, we started talking about some ideas back and forth. I sent them my reel, and uh, they completely tricked it out. Now, they weren't asking for big promotion. They weren't asking for all this stuff. What they were really excited about that they did want me to share with you is I am the only person in the world right now that has these knobs. These are actually prototype knobs right here. They're uh, actually made out of metal. I'm not sure what metal, but they are, they are made out of some sort of metal. But they also want to know what you guys thought about the prototype knobs. So they are going to be going through the comment section. So make sure you leave them your honest opinion of the reel and the knobs as well. Remember, this is something that is a prototype, so if you guys really like it, I'm assuming that they're gonna go ahead and put it into production. If you guys maybe have some other ideas, they're gonna consider those and potentially change them. They do want your honest opinion. I'm not even gonna lie. This is honestly one of the best reels I have ever owned. This is personally my favorite. Uh, so you guys will see me using the heck out of this. So the end goal for me is I wanna get every single one of my reels customized by this company because they're absolutely incredible. And one thing that I have noticed is they have a bunch of options. So if there's something specific you like, you can always have your reel tailored to what you like. Oh, by the way, really quick, I will leave Hogtech's Instagram and their website linked in the description below. So they didn't ask me to do any of that. They honestly just wanted to know what you guys thought about the prototype knobs. Uh, but their stuff is really incredible, so I want you guys to be able to have access to it. But let's go ahead and put it to use and try to hook a fish in the face. All right, we have the fluke tied on right here. Just got it weightless Texas rig, just like my favorite way to fish fluke. And uh, now we begin trying to hook a fish in the face. Oh, I just saw a bass. He's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it. Yep, he ate it. That's a good one. Oh my gosh, that was first cast. Oh no, he's on a lily pad. Oh, please come off the lily pad. Oh, don't tell me I lost that fish. No. Nope, lost him. Dang it. That was crazy. Literally first cast I had to eat. And just got stuck in the freaking pads, man. That was a good one. It was like a pound and a half, two pounder. It's good for this pond at least. Dang, that sucks. I'm gonna throw a weightless Cinco on. All right, we're rigged up. Oh, he ate it. Isn't that crazy? You change baits and then immediately get results. Gosh, this guy's tiny, tiny, tiny. What's up with that? You're supposed to be a lot bigger than that. You looked a lot bigger in the water, bud. Why would you eat the Cinco so quick, but not the Fluke? What's up with that, man? <laughs> See ya, bud. Okay, so this pond is kind of fishing trash right now. I think it's time to make a transition. One, I, can't, I haven't even seen a big fish. And two, I can't even catch the small fish. Time to make a move. The other pond does have a little bit bigger fish in them, but they're hard to catch too. So we'll see. We'll see if we can make it happen.
There we go. Biggin. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I saw her come up and just eat it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was so awesome. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I just saw her come up and just nail that thing. <laughs> wow. That was incredible. Oh my goodness. Oh. That was that was cool. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness. After all that struggle, I finally got a nice bass right here. Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. I cannot complain with a fish like that. Wow. Let's get her back in this water here. Oh, she's already bit down on my hand. All right, girl. What a beautiful fish. Goodness. All right, you ready, girl? Oh, let go. <laughs> oh, come here. Oh, there she goes. All right, see you, girl. Nanny, you missed it. What'd I miss? By the way, guys, this is my uh, grandma. I always, you remember me always coming up here and I'd catch a fish and like knock on that yes, window. Yes, and, and you just knocked on the window. I did just <laughs> knock on the window. <laughs> I was trying to get them to come out, but Every time I caught a big fish, I would just tap on the window and they'd come out and look at it. And most of the time you guys would be taking the pictures that I would post. <laughs> so if you guys didn't know, before I did YouTube, I always posted pictures of my fish on like Facebook or Instagram. But yes, he did. Yeah, so you missed it though. I caught a good one. Oh, darn. I know, I watched her I eat it. I was snoozing. You were, you were sleeping? <laughs> How are you sleeping? It's two o'clock in the afternoon. Well, I didn't sleep until 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, guys, this is my grandma. She's like a uh, part of the reason I'm doing this whole thing. It's a, you know, I tell the viewers, it's really special to come out here and fish because it's what I did growing up, you know? Yep, he's been here since he's been about nine years old like fishing these right, ponds. Right here, just fishing them. I probably hooked that same fish probably 10 times. Yeah, <laughs> I told you it's got a big hole in its mouth I know. where you keep throwing it back. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna get back to fishing, right. Anna. If I knock on that door, it's a giant. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, I'm pretty stoked that I caught that fish. I know it's not like a giant. It's not a five, six pounder, but in this pond, I mean, that's a, that's a quality, quality fish. So super, super stoked about that. And uh, yeah, man, there was just something special about that. I threw at these, uh, these reeds right here and literally just watched her come up, eat it and swim back down. I was like, oh my gosh, she has it, set the hook. So, oh, that's made my whole day. I'm so glad I came to this pond. All right, I'm gonna keep fishing. It's gonna be hard to top that though. Oh my gosh, that was cool. Another coolie. Oh my gosh, I just bounced the fluke right up and down by the lilies and they destroy it. Oh my gosh, that was a really cool one. Oh no, <laughs> this one through the tongue. Oh man, I'm sorry about your taste buds, bro. I'm really sorry about your taste buds. Okay, not a giant, but that one was, uh, that was still just as fun. Ow. All right, bud. You guys want to know something funny? My grandpa will stand right here and catch the biggest bass every time he comes out here. It's pretty hilarious. Tell me, man, I run around this whole pond and you stand right here and just slay him. Well, it's I'm, patience. I'm an old fashioned. <laughs> an old fashioned, yeah, yeah. <laughs> patience is a virtue. Look, absolutely. Look, can I just show him your bait? Check yeah. this out. Check this out, guys. <laughs> this is what my grandpa will catch fish on. This is not even. This is like a piece of a Cinco right here, and it's just a regular hook, and he'll absolutely slay him. And I'm over here spending hundreds of dollars in tackle, and sometimes I don't even catch a fish. Yeah. You got to figure it out. Just like I told you, I like these little old clues <laughs> real, because when I get a, get a hold of any kind of a bass, <laughs> I mean, it feels like a it's monster. It's pulling like it? crazy. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Guys, you thought I was kidding. You thought I was kidding. <laughs> look at that that's a nice one papa look at that look what he ate <laughs> look at that oh my goodness gracious look at that mouth <laughs> he choked the little bitty cinco who would have ever guessed that is so hey, funny he's a pretty nice little bass yeah he'll grow up to be a big one yeah maybe i hope so yeah <laughs> <laughs> awesome job, Papa. Look, I mean, he he really ate that. I, you, I just 
I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. I'm never fishing expensive tackle again. I'm just going to start ripping my worms in half and throwing them out there. Well, guys, that is going to be pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a big old thumbs up. Also, a big shout out to Hog Tech right here for hooking me up, hooking my reel up, and make sure you let them know in the comment section below what you guys think about the new prototype knobs. I know that is the information that they really want from you guys. They're not asking for sales. They're not asking for shout outs, but they are asking for your opinion on these knobs. With that being said, that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I'm honestly super proud of myself for pulling through with that big bass. I, uh, I was really having a hard time at the beginning of the video. Obviously, you guys could probably tell. I was a little frustrated. I was out there and uh, I just kept losing tiny fish. But all in all, it was a good day. We were successful, caught some fish, got to use an awesome reel prototype. I still can't believe I'm the only one in the world that has that. Like that is such a, a weird thing. Like I'm, I've been fishing with it. Like what happens if I accidentally drop it in the water? Then no one in the world has it. It's just gone forever. Anyway, guys, I'm just rambling at this point. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.